The Dow's headed for its fourth straight loss. That'll be the first time since June. IBM and Boeing dragging the Dow lower, but Tesla helping the NASDAQ stay green, and that stock is up over 20% for its biggest gain since 2013. Rates are ticking down a bit after hitting four and a quarter on the 10 year, which is now below 420. So far, 160 S&P 500 companies have reported earnings. Overall growth from quarter three last year has slowed. Weekly jobless claims this morning fell sharply for a second week in a row. 227,000 below expectations of 245. There could be some skewed data in there because of the hurricanes, but nonetheless, this has reversed the spike from earlier in the month. Continuing claims, though, rose by 28,000 to 1.9 million, which now puts it above pre pandemic levels. ES option data today's expiring 5,800 puts traded 34,000 times, many for around $1.25. And ES implied vol for tomorrow is about 11%, and that ticks slightly higher to about 13% for end of next week. Overall equity futures and options volume has soared in the last week. Yesterday's future volume, nearly 5.2 million contracts. Yesterday, option volume, almost 1.6 million contracts. Shorter dated options continue to dominate the tape. As over the last five days, options with expirations of five days or less, that has hit 60% of total volume. And then CMA headlight, CME he highlights, equity index option volume continues to soar at CME. E-mini S&P 500 options, the ES, average daily volume exceeded one and a half million contracts in the third quarter. That's up 10% from last year. And E-mini NASDAQ 100 options, NQ, average daily volume 90,000 in quarter three. That's up 18% from quarter three last year. Thank <laughs> you.